Hello and welcome to Barcodes in SAP with the Barcode Writer in Pure Postscript. The Barcode Writer in Pure Postscript offers many barcodes. We'll focus on five 2D barcodes I have encoded into SAP device types. Start off with some ABAP code, which you can download as mentioned in my blog post in the link below. The important part to remember about the, bar, the way it's been implemented, Barcode Writer and Pure Postscript, is via print controls. So we're going to just highlight some of the barcodes and the print controls related to them. So this is QR code and the print control is ZBW02. And if the write statement above is actually what's the text, is going to be encoded into the barcode. So if we highlight now a data matrix and that has its own dedicated print control highlighted here. And ex exactly the same process for the rest of the barcode. So if I try and highlight Aztec code and scroll down to actually the Aztec code print control. And then again for MaxiCode, a dedicated print control. And finally hands in. And at the very bottom is the actual hands in print control. So if I highlight now the actual device type, and we can actually see on the left the actual print controls, and on the right is the actual postscript code. Um, it's linked to postscript functions which will actually generate the barcode. If I highlight um, ZBW02, just to highlight this is historic the um, original version 10 years ago. That was the the way I created it. But now, uh, just from naming conventions and as I've included five types of barcodes as, a, as an actual matching uh, print control as well. So if we execute that code, choose my output device front to DC, which is linked to the device type. I've actually pre-installed PDF24 and that's just the default format. So PDF24 is my PDF writer of choice. So if we open that file, because it's auto saved for us. And as you can see, the five types of um, 2D barcodes have been created. So if you open PDF24 and just change the settings now, sometimes I like to open the actual PDF24 assistant. So if I just select that option here, hit OK, just close that down, execute the code again, but this time we're gonna add an additional print control just to show the flexibility. So if I put the rotation print code in again, for the first example of the QR code and execute the code, what we'll see now is if the top two QR codes actually rotated the same. So if I just go through the same process of printing, executing this code, open PDF24, and this time the assistant's open for us due to the settings change. After we save, it should auto open for us as well. So here we go, it's actually rotated the top. QR code and just open the other file for comparison. Get the right one. There we go. Showing, demonstrating that I just created a print control to alter the output of the QR code. So, move now to smart forms. Just want to highlight. I just did some demo smart form. So if I just display it, just highlight the format. And actually it's exactly the same process. A print control is used to generate the barcode. So just the layout on the right. If we just have a look at hands in print control. That was very um, exactly the same print control used in the ABAP code. It's the way the device type works. It's all based on print controls. So that just that would encode the text above in the smart form, and just to highlight that that is a variable text. 
So you can see that's actually um, a variable here that's in global definitions. So you open initialization, and there we go. The code that would, the text that would be um, encoded into the into the Hansen code. So if we execute that now, just uh, for demonstration purposes, just test this smart form. We'll go via PDF twenty four again because I'm going to use exactly the same output device. Print that. That should then open the assistant. We save it. Should auto open for us after saving. There we go. A smart form examples again, just using the power of barcode writes from postscripts post with the print controls. And that's the end of my video. Some links here for further information. Thanks for watching. Bye.